Hey guys, we'll be back to this new video tutorial with OSP on Uganda developer. In this video tutorial, we're going to be dealing on publisher, Microsoft publisher. We're going to be making one known as a simple login from got files. Since we don't have developer tool in our machine, got files uh, options, and then you click on one known as customize reborn, just tick on one known as the developer, and they'll say okay. So the developer tool will be popping up in the machine. Just, just click on the developer tool and go to Visual Basics, please, guys. Then just go to insert a form because you're going to use a user's form. Uh, this is going to be our first form and the first form i'm just going to put there one known as a simple label and this label is going to be having one known as uh it's just going to be having one on a simple login form simple login form i'm just going to resize it if possible just increase that font very well uh, just increase that font to something bit big and that's it that's so cool yeah so let us just try to resize it something like bit kind in the middle like that so it looks nice so let us just go straight and add in the labels the first label is going to be for username and then i just going to drag it down so that i get the second label for the password so just click on this one for the username and actually i happen to give the one as username and then for password also guys just come in there and actually put the old one as a password just like that so so far the two usernames actually the username and the passwords are done just copy them and just try to increase that font very well so that they look to be kind of big uh, compared to the size which is there now just like that now let us just go and add one another text box into our fields the first text box is going to be for username and the te second text box is going to be actually for the password just like that so just copy all of them highlight all of them uh, i mean the text box and actually try to increase the font there's nothing much much actually i'm going to change that particular on that partition then just go to the field for password and just change that character for the password to be a real password just like that give a streak or any format then what i'm just going to add here is what on a simple button i'm just going to add their button the button for login so I'm just going to change this name into what known as login, just like that, login. And we can also drag in this button here, and I just actually also create another button uh, for exit. Oh yeah, just for exit one, yeah, button. So I'm just going to change this name to what known as exit. So guys, let us just go straight to the coding. Double click on exit button and add the following codes down there. I'll just hide me dot. Uh, click my hit dot actually me dot hide that's enough for the login for the exit now for the login please guys just change the username here it's called text box one you can just leave it the second one is going to be text box two so you can change the name or you may not leave it let us just leave it for today's case and then this login form just go down straight and add another second form since we want by the time when the user happens to click on it on the login should take him to direct him to another form so in this form here i'm just going to put their simple button or simple form and i'm just going to call it uh this i'm just going to call it this is our second form just like that and let us just try to increase that font very fast guys so that guys you don't tend to actually be when you're not seeing them very well just try to increase that font very well uh something just like 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 that something like this oops okay guys now it's fine so just something like that so guys let us go back to our first form double click on login and add in the following forms view codes if if text box if text box one is equal to what known as uh equals what known as osp pro or is equal to what known as osp and the text box text box 2 which is for the password in this case if it is equal to what known as uh I'm just going to say it's equal to what known as uh, a one two three just like that and then let me just close the if statement and, and then i say then what should happen to be in this case now if the start forms are equal to something like that i then expect the second form form 2 user form 2 don't show just that that's what i'm going to add in that case so now here we also have to generate else condition whereby i mean in this condition now we have whether either the username has to be 
uh, if the, the the first text box if the password the password the person is giving is incorrect then we expect this pop-up message to come up for us then in my screen so wrong username or password our combination so that's it guys and trust me yeah you just have to end here with end if just that is it so here i happen to say if this one is verified to be true then the first text box will be popping up and if it is wrong then we else we expect the else condition to be popping up for us on the screen so this is it guys if you try to run this program now at the moment if i just click here and i put the password as osp and i click the username as one two three if i click here the second form has to pop up that's all really great guys and also it has an exit here if i click on this down the form just has to end up so guys just these are the simple codes i add in remember in our forms guys we happen to say that the form one the user form one we said that the user form one on the text box here we see left us text box one and the full password left us text box two so that's it guys please don't forget the coding the coding i said these are the very simple codes that guys you guys actually have to practice and just learn it so guys thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to ospo pro i uh, love you guys